as the title says, we are playing every game that I got during this quarantine for free. Dad, like, actually, I'm pretty sure all of these games are on Epic Games, uh, just because they've been giving away games left and right during the quarantine. Actually, no, one is on Uplay, but yeah, you'll see. And yeah, the uh, first game, as you can see, totally re reliable delivery service. I'm pretty sure this is an actual, actually like a really good, fun game to play. And it has a really funky soundtrack. I've... Oh, hello. <laughs> Get to work by pushing the joystick on the machine. No. I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah, I'm up for the work. I'm... Okay, can I see the controls again? F1 or something? <laughs> Bro, I'm just flying around. Oh, I actually hurt myself. I didn't know you could hurt yourself. I th thought you were immortal. Okay, I have to push this thing. Come on, man. How do I do this? <laughs> I'm like putting up my arm. There we go. First timer. There's a first time for everything. Okay, so... Oh, I have to pick this up and it's uh, it's timed. Pick it up, quick. Let's go. Freaking put it in here. <laughs> Whoa, that's some... Let me just let me just turn down the music a little bit. Do I have to? I mean, I'm guessing I have to use this car that just appeared out of nowhere. No, don't drop it onto the road. Just go. Yes, put it in there. Put it in there. <laughs> I always wondered how you control things in this game, in these kind of games. And it's not easy. Just as I suspected. Stop throwing it out! Yes, let go. Okay, I, I, that's good enough. <laughs> I guess. The package can drive me there. Not the other way around. No. Go. Control the car. Oh my. Okay, let's just launch. Let's just launch. Press uh, left shift to launch. <laughs> That's not what happened. Oh, I probably have to get in it. <laughs> okay, do you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. I'm just gonna run away, run at it, and F, dive. <laughs> that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. You press right, and he might go right and like a little bit up. Okay, perfect. Whoa! Well, it actually goes pretty far, but not far enough because I'm gonna land in the sea. Bro, can I go around the wall of this? Uh, kind of? Yes. Yes, I can. Bruh. In fact, I could probably just go like this. Oh, ho, ho. that's pretty cinematic. Imagine watching this at a baseball game. Actually, no. What what kind of stadium is that? What game would you play that? I don't know. Get out of this car. Okay, where do I deliver this? Oh, to the Ferris wheel. Okay. To the top? Alright. Let's go of it. And then I'm gonna have to control this. Or somebody else is gonna have to control it for me. But I'm alone and I have no friends, so... I'm gonna have to do it myself. And then wait. For it to come back around. Why is it? Why is the delivery cancelled? What? Why did it cancel the delivery? Why? Can I deliver anything in this game without, you know, not delivering it? Okay. Now I've actually thought about it, and I turned it on before I did it. Go on. Yes. No! No! <laughs> I don't like this Ferris wheel. It's bad, and it's loud, and I don't like it at all. Get in there! It's so hard to- I can't describe to you guys how hard it is to control this- What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I think that's the game telling me, yeah, that's enough. That's- you're not good at this. Okay, next game.
for the king. Uh, okay, first of all, it basically it just says here, yeah, this this won't be hard. I mean, this won't be easy. So like, don't don't be don't expect that. It's easy. Uh, and from what I've seen, this game is just like a Civ Six, but it also has some sort of like turn-based RPG elements to it. I think. I think. Uh, I guess we'll see in a second. Okay, uh, choose an adventure for the king, I'm guessing. First thing, right? Uh, difficulty Apprentice and Solo, yep. Battle against chaos and story driven adventures, you attempt to solve the king's murder and you stole it to the land. How does this work? Randomize. They're identical, <laughs> look at their faces, they are identical. No, it's not player one. It's uh Johns Johnski. That's me. Uh the brink of chaos. Good King Bronner has been slain. The once peaceful kingdom of Faru is being co corrupted by wild chaos energy and ravaged by monsters and bandits. The grieving queen Rosomon has called for Fahru's ordinary citizens to search the land for the king's murderer and the source of the chaos energy. The tale now begins in the Guardian Forest, where there have been rumors of suspicious activity and sinister strangers in the woods. Three would-be heroes meet in Orton to begin their quest. Let's go. Okay. Uh, first the wizard Vexor vanishes, then my own husband was slain in his palace. He may be the last hope of Fahru. Seek out Hildebrandt in Woodsmoke. You will uh, be told now to... I can't read right now. You will be told how best to aid our efforts. Your quest has begun. Strive against this chaos, that our realm be con lest our realm be consumed by it. Okay. So, how do I go? <laughs> this game is... <laughs> this isn't like a oh, jump in quick play the game a little bit. This is, this is like, proper. Okay. Oh, always good to see you now, Vices join the quest. I am Hildebrandt, the Queen's agent overseeing Thang and the Garden Forest. Things are bad here, real bad. <laughs> he's, he's an agent to the Queen, but he sounds like that. All signs point to some evil folk who have locked themselves away in the glittering mines. That's the green mines, by the way, guys. I'll work and get you down there. In the meantime, a strange contraption has been spotted. Go investigate. Oh, that's not. That's not the glittering mines, guys. It's angry folks in fancy rooms and make themselves right at home. You must prepare for a good fight. Alright. Complete these objectives in any order. How? Bro, this game is way more complex. Beastman Warlock. Um. Ambush them, I guess. Yay, success! 39%. Bro, this is actually like. <laughs> I actually have like a character that's like a. What are they called? Um, a bard. I've never played an RPG game that actually had that class. Um. Okay, this has the highest chance to do things, I guess. Bruh, I hurt him and he's dazed. And like, I can, uh... I can shoot you. Bruh, he's almost dead. Sorry, pal, but, uh... Your time has come, it would seem. Sliced him in half. Bro, I'm good at this game. Um, bro, he's got, he's got like a... The electric guitar, I'm gonna die. I didn't even get a chance to fight. They defeated me. This game... Is super, like... 
this isn't a game that I can just record and be like, oh, okay, so that was that was pretty fun. This game seems really fun though. I might actually come back to this in my spare time and play it because uh, genuinely, this seems like a fun game to play. I I've never really played like a game with a turn turn based uh, system, but it seems really fun. So yeah, I, this game this game is actually like really quality. For the king, it's called. Very, very fun game. Recommend it, <laughs> I, I guess. Okay, next game. This is Gone Home. This is a game from what I remember. It's uh, you come home from, I don't know, you went somewhere and you come home and you expect your family to see you, but they're not there. And you just have to, you have to like solve the mystery. Um, this game came out a while ago. I think I watched it. Uh, it on you somebody played this on YouTube and yeah that was free so it's pretty simple uh, controls hi mom uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe I get back on June 6th but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest so it gets in at midnight but don't worry I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up like really seriously you don't have to okay nice. so love you see you soon bye see ya Gone at home. June seventh, nineteen ninety-five. It was a cold night. One fifteen a.m. Whoa! How just happened to my mouse? Okay, so we just got home. Literally just got in. Um, something's already wrong because I can see that the trees are glowing. All my stuff is here. It says Kate Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland. Is that Comic Sans on the? That's not Comic Sans, is it? Okay, no, that's not. I th I genuinely thought that was Comic Sans, but it's not. So it says Katie. I'm sorry, it can't be there for you, but uh, to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone. Uh, that crossed out mom and dad to know we'll see each other again someday don't be worried I love you okay what do I have keys there's the key okay home sweet home we have lights that turn on by themselves play messages Sam Sam! Hello? Sam! Okay. Sam, where are you? Oh, what happened? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Bro, what, what occurred? Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but That's it's the a really one that late I flight that was the cheapest, so it gets... Bro, I like, I like these physics. You can turn the chair and everything. Actually, no, you can't. How did it turn then, then? How did it turn then? If it, now it won't. Okay, the book makes it turn. Um, What's this say? That's a code, I'm gonna have to remember that, I bet you. 0451. Sounds like, uh... Ah, there you go! Told ya! 0451. Lifelong resident of Boone County. He's unmarried and have no, has no children. I wanna, like, find out what happens in the end, so I'm probably just gonna look it up. And if you wanna know what happens in the end of this story, I guess just look it up, because I'm, I'm not gonna have time to play through this whole thing, and even if I did die... Uh, I, like, how am I going to include it in the video where I just test out like a bit of the games uh, but yeah this is really interesting so yeah gone home everyone this game is called Hob <laughs> I don't know much about it the description just said that it's like a 
it's like a cool but unforgiving world or something. And yeah, uh, let's just start and see what this actually is. Whoa, what's happening? There is earthquake. Bro, is that Bastion from Overwatch? Who is that? What? Zoe, is that me? Okay, am I meant to move or something? It's controlled with the arrow keys. But you do have a mouse as well. Okay, no, you can walk with WSD too. I don't know what the controls are. It didn't tell me anything. He's gonna open that gate. Yeah. What's this though? I can roll. That's all I know. Oh, and I can just walk as well. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Uh, what is this? Ow! That hurt me. Doesn't look very good. Hey, can use the mouse to walk as well. Checkpoint? I think so because the loading icon appears whenever that's that's shown. Yeah, you're gonna Bruh! He just pushed an entire structure. <laughs> oh, how did you get oh, you just climbed. I can't climb apparently. Seemingly. Oh, that's a pretty long fall. Wouldn't want to fall down there. Oh, it's a giraffe looking ass. You're not angry, are you? Oops. <laughs> See you later. You have a big head, by the way. No offense, sir. What the f What? Why? And I'm dying. Is he gonna. He just cut off my. What the hell? Like, it was all nice, and then it's just like, okay, um. Infected by a uh, purple plant. Bruh. Is he gonna give me his arm? His massive 3,000 ton arm? There's no way. Hob. Yeah, you got a... You got a big arm. Insert, like... You know, the joke. What, you know, you know which joke. This is whoa. This is like ancient technology slash avatar inspired kind of blend to it. <laughs> From what I can see right now, I think this is just cinematics though. There's like an engine here. Yeah? You know how to use this thing? <laughs> um, your arm is being pulled apart right now. Oh, the upgrade? Oh, we're getting an upgrade. Yo! Oh, has a taser now! I can punch. This is so cool. I like this game. Bruh! It's insane how hard I can punch. Well, um, this is a very fun, very strange game. 
it's it's like unique. I don't know what to say about it, but it does seem pretty fun. No, no voices or anything. It's just like telling a little story of this dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. But it does seem pretty fun, and I'm sure it's. There's a lot more upgrades you can get for this arm. <laughs> this is cool. This is a cool little attachment. I don't even know where to go from here, but well, probably through here. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this game here. Yeah, pretty fun game. Hob, strange but pretty fun. Sherlock Holmes. Don't know anything about this game except that it's made. It's Sherlock Holmes made this game. New game. Let's play. <laughs> um. What the hell is going on? Holmes. What the hell is going on? Um. Take cover. Holmes, will you stop that? He's shooting. There's a bear. You are mad. I don't understand. Stop, Holmes. Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. He's blindfolded. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Confident step. Oh, that's like he's thinking. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? Oh, wow. He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. Yeah, it's probably a sailor one of my probably. stray bullets. What happened? That you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon I afterwards. I know a lot. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Her face doesn't change, she's just mad. <laughs> she's Who just could such a thing? Uh, yeah, I got that, I got that. Whatever. Hello, policeman. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Let's go investigate. Mr. Holmes? Oh, an identical voice. Mr. Holmes? Policeman? The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Of course. Ah, good thinking. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. That was one hell of a, of a bit of a cutscene. <laughs> oh, he teleported me away. Um, T. Concentrate your attention on finding details that others are inclined to overlook. You got scratches. Well, you I mean, right. someone tried to he force didn't overlook open it. The door. He saw it. Okay, I think I think that's it enough for this game. Well I, I don't know. It seems a little. I don't know what to say about this game. I'm not a reviewer or anything, but I don't know. If you're interested in Sherlock Holmes or this kind of theme, yeah, maybe it's for you. But it's in my thing. Okay, yeah, Sherlock Holmes. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, those are all the games that I got from the quarantine, basically. All these companies were giving away these games for free. I also got two other games. One is called Drawful 2. It's a game that you have to play with friends. It's Scribble.io, if, you if you've ever heard of it. You just, one person draws, the others have to guess. But, as we all know, not only do I have no friends, the ones that I do have are not, like, available at the moment. But yeah, it's probably a pretty fun game. Another game I got, 
Uh, it's called Close to the Sun. I did play a bit of it, like half an hour. It's basically just like Bioshock, but with a slightly, slightly different story. But really, it's just Bioshock, if I'm being honest. Except I don't think it has guns. And there was also, recently they were giving away GTA 5, of course. You probably know about that. Uh, and right now they're giving away Civ 6. I already have two of those, both of those games, and I didn't think that would be, those would be fun games to put in this video because I'm just trying to put like, I'm just trying to do like the more obscure, less play, less played games. I, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.